ways to stay positive during this time. Good afternoon, Hi, Christine. Christine. Hi there. Good to good to be on. How are oh, you guys doing? We're you know? doing okay. How are you doing? Yeah. Well, we're, I'm trying to stay positive. You know, it. Um, uh, th this has really thrown all of us uh, for such a loop. You know, I, I keep thinking of that analogy of a bell that's been rung, right? And and we just have the reverberations from every new bit of, of uh, information that we get. And just when we calm down, we get some more information in. So for all of us who are who are struggling a little bit, um, I uh, I'm the happiness expert, and I can tell you, you know, it's it's a challenge for us all. <laughs> So what can people do? Because it is, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult to stay centered and grounded at times like this. Um, it's easy to get yanked either way, but what can people do to make sure that they stay centered and try to see the proverbial light at the end of this tunnel? So first of all, I think it's really important to stay active um, and um, and to get out for a walk, to um, to to uh, talk to your loved ones, uh, to use social media and and Zoom and all these other ideas um, as a way to stay connected. Um, I, but the, the, and we also really want to be kind to ourselves during this time. So for me, one of the things that I always advocate when I've talked to you guys in the past is that being pro-social makes us happy, right? Getting out there and helping people makes us as individuals happy and obviously helps the people that we are reaching out to as well but right now it feels like you know we're, we're all being encouraged to stay at home just to, to that safer at home and shelter in place so I know a lot of us are kind of thinking about what are my gifts and how can I use them to be particularly useful to other people right now. So I've been doing a lot of introspection and I encourage everybody to think about how can I help? Because helping uh, not only makes the world a better place, but makes us as individuals feel more in control and happier. A lot of people are very anxious about this though, and that can affect you physically as well as mentally. Absolutely. So the anxiety is real. Um, and for many of us, you know, we try to put on a brave face during the day and at night we have nightmares and, um, and you know, the demons come out at night. So being gentle with yourself, talking to your doctor, um, getting, getting the, the support that you need, um, I think is, is very important. Not isolating is hugely important in terms of emotional isolation, right? Physically, we're trying to isolate ourselves, but emotionally, we're going to try to reach out to as many people as as possible and so you know those two things don't have to go together uh, whether it's uh, zoom happy hours um, or whether it's uh, calling some relatives um, especially those you know who are elderly and alone and checking in with people these are ways that we can really stay uh, emotionally connected as a community my group calls those happy hours quarantinis oh, that's like <laughs> You know, I love those quarantinis, I gotta tell you. And uh, and and I'm you know, I teach a class called Consuming Happiness, and so I'm trying to do happiness hours with my students as well as a way to reach out. You're probably their favorite professor right at this moment. <laughs> um, what would you suggest to people who I mean this almost feels like a cabin fever, right? In the winter mm -hmm. when you were like the dead of winter, like you're itching to get out and do something, and you've got that that nervous energy. What what do you suggest? for people to do with that, all that energy. So yes, we have nervous energy. I, I sort of feel it as like a tingling in my legs that I want to kind of go run a marathon. Um, and I know a lot of people are feeling that too. You can get out and, and go for a walk. Uh, there are plenty of places where you can be active outside, avoiding playgrounds and other public places, but getting outside. Um, there are also wonderful uh, free videos that are being offered for uh, for at-home workouts and just jumping around and, um, and being active. And if you have young children like me, um, we have been trying to intersperse uh, some little stay-at-home school stuff with uh, jumping jacks and uh, and other activities to stay physically you know f just physically move uh, because the more anxious you are the, um, the 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 more physical activity is really important for that that mind and body balance good advice as usual it's important to stay healthy stay safe and be positive yeah Christine thanks for absolutely being with us. thanks for being with good us to today. see you guys thanks right. we'll be right back with the final check here